Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm installing the new 220 surface outlet for my new welder. I'll need to get it in this panel here. I advise you to get a hold of your local electrician. I'm a trained professional so do as you want at your own risk. I will not be responsible for you burning down your garage. But we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll get the front panel off here and verify we have a power off. Alrighty, so I'll get this front panel off. I'll grab my meter here, make sure we don't get any power here. We can always turn that off too. So I have the main breaker turn off at the house. So I know that it's off at the house. I want to double check and make sure we don't have any power back here. Like I said, do this at your own risk. I will not be responsible for you burning down your garage or your house. Always check your meter for continuity. Make sure your leads are good. Alrighty. I'm running a 50 amp service. My welder is rated at 50 amps on 220, so we want to match that. These are very tight. She's in there. Just gotta punch out one of these knockouts here. This one. Three quarter one right there. Here. This. cut them. I usually always cut them with some side cutters like this. If I, well, I guess I can break it off like that. I usually cut them, cut them off. So, fun part. Okay, we got our breaker on installed here. All right, I'll have to ground it. I'll have to ground it on, on this or this. I'll ground it on here on this plate. Um, both are, both sets of wires um, are gonna go in here. I'm running 6-2 wire, um, which is, should be plenty big enough. I'm using 6-2 wire for 50 amps. So I'll leave links in the description on the items that I use today. You can purchase them for yourself or purchase them to be installed by a licensed electrician. I'm gonna run my wire through a seal tight here. Actually, I think I needed to trim some off. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the 
seal tight connector on here. We don't need to tighten it down all the way. We can leave the nut off of it. Put this, well, we'll just leave it off. We'll put it on. I don't know if I want here. But my plan is to run this right here and then run our wire down to the box down here. Okay. I want to put it, put it on this side. That way we can anchor it to the wall here. Put it like this. And then we probably just need to trim a little bit. Trim a little bit off of this and see what it does. Outlet box down here. And this right here. And I think that'd be okay. All right. So. so we'll actually feed the wire through here now. We'll get these uh, the nuts on here so it's nice and tight. We'll run a wire up up through here and then into our terminals. To make it easier, get through your seal tight connector here. I always like to kind of make a little 90 degree angle with the wire itself and it should slide right through. Um, I like this lock uh, nut on here, but you could just keep um, bending it like that and it should just come right through. this okay so we may have just too much wire go right here and up here maybe a little bit more because remember we still have to ground to this bar right here so that should be plenty. That's that's good and plenty actually. I think. Yep. So we'll side this up here, seal tight. Play mm. a nut on this. Like this. Shirts on there. Crank it down. Take this lock ring off. That allows us to lock it into the box itself. I'll feed it up like this. Without trying to cut the wire. Slide this lock ring on. It has two sides to it. The smooth side, you could set it down on the table. The raised side is the one you put on first. So um, if you set it flat on a table and you see the raised side, that goes on first and that locks it down on to the metal itself. So we'll do that like this. Slide it in inside. Like this, get the lock ring semi-tight. Take my lock ring tool like this and tighten it up. Just like that, that's it. Nice and tight. And we can go ahead and get this wired up.
All right, I cut the, I cut the middle on this where the ground wire is. All you need is a little slit right here. It should peel off like that. See? You can pull back as much as you like. We're gonna pull back the way we can cut it off and not damage anything. Like that. Cut it off. Take this off. We can run our ground up behind the wires and then we'll bend it to our connector here. Let me get a different tripod. That way I can show you a little bit better. All right, now that I got you on the tripod, see me? Can you see me? All right, now that I got you on the tripod, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this ground up to this ground block right here. Okay, push this in the back here. The way it's nice, clean out of the way. We'll put it in one of these lugs, called lugs, like this. Screw it down. These type of machines need to have a ground. Everything should have a ground to earth. Okay. So, tighten it up here. Push it in, tighten it up. Make sure it's tight. Push it in the back. Then we'll get these wires ran. All right, we've got our two wires. 120 each, remember? After we're done, we're gonna mark this black. That way we know it's hot. Okay, um, probably cut that much off right there. Get my uh, side cutters here. I'm just lining it up with this lug. Cut it off there. And we'll do the same with this one. Make straight cut around, we'll get this off. this all wired up. White wire in here. Side the lug. She got tightened down pretty good. Get this black wire in now. Should be all set. We'll get our Sharpie marked as black, this white wire, and we'll get our box put on. This designates that's a hot wire. Let me get my outlet here. In my box, I'm gonna see where the wires come in at. So it should come right into the top, I think. Looks like it. We'll have to snake it around or something. But this is a box. Get it on my Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. We'll get this. Uh, put it in and the cover plate on. Um. What we'll the bus this knockout out right here? Might be able to push up the thumb or my screwdriver. That. Remember, it's three quarter. So, pop it out. Use your needle nose. Let's see. Or if side cutters work, might work better. This. Make sure you use ones you get. Um, damage you don't care about because it is metal so we'll get our 
connector on here. Connector. We'll cut this wire off before we need it. I'm gonna cut it a little longer. Um, I go always cut it off, but I wanna cut it a little longer. Take our side cutters. Just up in there. Just sit around. This. Tighten it up on there. Okay. This. Like that. Take our lock nut off. Hopefully, we got enough wire now. Yeah, we should have plenty. See how much sticks out of the box? Our box is going to go right here. Okay, we'll mount our box here. I'll use some screws. Get the box mounted. Get my lock ring on. All right, I'm gonna get this box mounted here. That, get our lock ring tight. All right, we got our box mounted. We'll get our lock ring tight in here. Tighten up this lock ring. That'd be okay. It ain't going anywhere. So, like I said, we're gonna slit this down the middle. Be easy with it. Don't cut yourself. Okay. got our outlet right here so these have to go in the top so oh man so yep they'll have to go in the top of this thing I'll have to bend these up or something to get it in there unless we flip it and have them coming off the bottom um, which I don't know if I want that Not sure if I want that to go off the bottom. I'd rather have it on top. That way my cord uh, just points straight down. It's gonna be tight. We're probably gonna do the ground first because I'm gonna put a lug right here with the ground wire. That way we can ground the box like this. And I'll loop it up underneath with this other ground wire. Let's take our uh, 5 sixteenths. I stick it like this because it goes in this side on the right. It goes on the right side like this, right here. This over here, um, and we can bend it a little bit more. That way, both our grounds go into the lug, and I can cut it off right like that one, just the same length. I think I figured out the overheating issue. If you let the battery run down too too much it starts to get hot at least the battery gets hot um, which I think it's heating up the GoPro so we'll see we got a fresh battery in this thing 
right? As long as we got a chance, I can show you all this stuff. I think I'll be okay. This is going to be in the center of it. So, as long as we can get enough wire in there, I think it would be okay. Unless we loop it up and on the top. Or well, we don't have to cut the wire off. And we can pull it out if we need to one day. I hope we don't. But take this and it should go right in the top. Like that, yeah. Yeah, I'll, that's what I'll probably do. So we could put it in the top. It'll just sit in here like this. Um, I think I got one screw in this thing, so we'll put another screw in it. Okay. So yeah, we'll loop it around like this. We'll stick it in the top. This is gonna be towards the back, but it's, I don't believe it's gonna touch anything, but I don't want to cut all this wire off and then have to redo it all. So I could probably just loop this one the same way. Just thick wire, it's just a pain to deal with sometimes. So, I'll uh, get the insulation off of this. Probably just use a Sharpie here now and mark it up because we know that's that one's hot too. You can use electrical tape as well, but I like to use Sharpie, it's easier. Okay, well, we will cut this insulation off. this okay so we got our wires all marked up and everything we can get our outlet here Unscrew the unscrew the terminals. This one in here. We can push a might be a cut a little bit off and cut or I'll push it more in. 
more of it in. Yeah, there we go. I have to do, I have to tighten it from the other side, but. Hold it with your finger, tighten it up. I'm gonna use a bigger flathead. Got that one tight. Tighten this one up. Okay, last ones. So we got to coil it up like that. Should be able to push right in like this. in here we'll get our grounds here get our grounds inside the lugs that off but should be able to get it inside there and just at least get it tight push it all the way in the back tighten it up Uh, looks that's where it would be can double check our connections if we wanted but I got it pretty tight in there so yeah I got it really tight I like that cool we got our cover plate like this I want to push this in like that. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, this wire is just thick. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Take these screws out. turn them by hand but these are uh, tough push it all the way back make sure it's not touching your screws or anything <clears throat> but I think 
we're pretty good. I think we're, we're set. This wire just, it's just so thick. It's hard to move around. Mm, there we go. Okay, so the wires aren't touching the back or anything. Um, I'm just keeping it away from the screws, the screw heads. But if we mount it right there, that'd be perfect. We'll get our cover plate mounted here. We'll get the um, breaker turn back on with the panel on We'll put the front panel back on and then we'll test it out We'll, uh, we'll try to just use a meter. I have to grab the welder over there and it's just it's buried so Let's do this I made sure on the back of these screws that there's no wires because um, you can short it out if you run these wires through and if you run these screws through and there's a wire on the back it will short something out because it could you know cut into the wire or something you don't want that so that's why I was double checking the wires behind here and making sure there's nothing that's going to touch or rub now that we got everything set, should be good right here. I just took a chunk out of my skin. It's sharp. Yep, just gotta be careful with this stuff. So, grab my light, double check it before we put it on, and we'll put the screws back in. all tight all good we'll get this front panel on we'll get the breaker back on and we'll test it out all right like I said we gotta get this front panel put back on but we gotta knock out the holes for the new breaker right here these two holes need to be knocked out um, take a needle nose or something, you could pop them out. We can twist it, twist it out of here. Like this. Yep. Make sure I don't pop the wrong ones out. It's the left, or the right, whichever one it is. that A couple of these screws started Everything tighten back up. Now that we got the panel back on, let me go hit the uh, house breaker. All right, we got power now. Let's check for 220. Now we got the breakers and everything back on. We'll go ahead and switch this 50 amp breaker for this outlet on. Okay, what we'll do, turn our meter on, bolts, see what we've got. 237, 
that's good. So we've got 237. Let's go here to ground. That makes sense. We'll go here, from here to here. 119. I can hold it. That's not good. 119.1 118 so that's good got 237 we're all wired up good to go so I'll be using this for my welder and plasma cutter. This will serve great purpose for me in the future. All right, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm actually transitioning from building my S10 to my C10. I will have more videos coming up here soon on the progress of my truck. It's not going to be much how-to videos, but I can if you like. If you like to, if you want to learn how I I'm going to build my C10. Hit up the comments and let me know. Thank you.